OK. So there's a couple things we need to remember, a couple rules of logarithms, or just rules of exponents, actually, that we need to know. First of all, we do not like having radicals. Okay, So we need to remember m root of x to the n. Anytime we have a radical, we can always rewrite that as a rational power, x to the n over m. Does so everybody remember that? It's not the first time we've gone over it. We need to remember this, though. It comes up a lot. Okay, The next one, we don't like having numbers in our denominator either. So 1 over x to the m, we can always rewrite it in the numerator, but just by using negative powers. Okay. Is everybody following with that? Okay. So let's go and take, let's make this not complicated anymore. Let's get this to 1 over 1,000 to the 1 half power, because technically we don't write it, but technically there's a 1 there and there's a 2 there. Now let's get this into the numerator. So we say log of 1,000 to the negative 1 half power. So does everybody see what I've done? I've tried to make this simple, so now it kind of makes a little bit, hopefully, a little bit more sense. It's easier to work with. Now the next rule that we talked about last class period was log base b of b raised to the x is equal to x. So what we want is we want our base to be the same as that base. But you might have um, remember or forget what exactly is the base of log. If it's not written there, what is that base? 10. Log of x is equal to log base 10 of x. So we could put in a little 10 there if we want to. Same thing. We don't write a 2 for the radical, but it's there. That's what that represents. All right. Now, our goal is the base and our value to be the same. So we want 10 and 10 to be the same. But we have a problem, because that's 10 and that's 1,000. Right? Just put it on the corner. So can we rewrite 1,000 as 10 raised to a power? Huh? Yeah. What? It, 10 to the third. So I'll write 10. I'll just leave that little 10 there so it makes more sense. 10 to the third power, and that's all still raised to the negative 1 half power. Then we have to remember another property of exponents. x to the m raised to the n equals x to the m times n. That's called the power rule. Whenever you have an, ex a po an exponent raised to a power, you multiply the powers. So therefore, I have log base 10 of 10 to the negative 3 halves. But now that it's written in this format, do you guys see how this nicely follows along this rule? So now the answer equals negative 3 halves. You guys just put them down right there. Does that make sense? Nope, not that way. Not that way. OK, let's still go that way. That's OK. 